Hi everybody, it's Esther from the Pharaoh again. Um, I waited a little longer this time because I was I had a bunch of uh, things I had to do besides knitting, which was take care of my husband. I came home from his cruise ship to Hawaii with COVID. Yeah, I brought home COVID. That was just, just great. And uh, I haven't caught it. It's been three weeks since he's been home and I have not caught it. So I guess I'm not going to. Uh, but he had it pretty bad. And so uh, my knitting sort of waned a little bit. But now it's back because he's feeling good now. And he's doing pretty good. Um, I told him don't go on that cruise. I said cruise ships are floating disease factories, you know. And they are. Anyway. He's, he's alive and he's home now. He says he's never going on another cruise ship again. It was so bad to have COVID on a ship with be by yourself, not have your family with you. Oh, my God. Anyway, um, so I didn't get too much work done on this, but it has gotten very big. I was working on this last time I saw you. Um, a, you know, a couple inches from finishing the bottom, and then I do the sleeves. It's just at that boring stage, you know, where you, you just knit and knit and knit. So I save it for TV, for Warriors games and stuff. Which one's on tonight? Hooray, hooray. All right, so that's that. And uh, I saw this. I was just going through Michael's one day just for fun. I wasn't going to buy anything. And I saw this yarn. Stain tones. And this color just sent me. Oh, this color is so pretty. It's called Adobe. So I got two of them. Just, I could make something. Well, I've, um, I decided to try to get creative, you know. And uh, I went into my um, stitch dictionary I have and found this cute pattern. I think it's called diagonal, diagonal rib checks or something. Anyway. It was an eight row repeat, but it, it was just, you know, just this many, but this is like 30 stitches or so. And I just did it and, and it into a long thing and kept measuring it. When, I, when it fit around my neck, I, I sewed it together, whip stitched it together, and it became a beautiful cow. I just love it. Ooh, ooh it looks good with this color too. Looks like uh, Arizona or something, you know, the Indian reservation. Ooh. So I have a nice brown cow. That was fun. I like to do these things that, were, that has no pattern. You just create it yourself. But they're fun, you know. Don't always want a pattern. And then I was walking around. I'm a, I'm a shopper. I, I was walking around Walmart and I saw this yarn. It's I. It's just Super Saver, you know, a Red Heart Super Saver Saver. But it's this neat color called Icelandic and uh, so I tried my hand at seed stitch and I made a big scarf now with crochet I find it hard to keep it even on the sides because every so often I might miss one and then you end up with less fewer and it's pretty soon you're you know you you're going like this instead of like this on your project. So I practiced this. I counted, there were 20, room for 20 stitches. So I um, I counted, I counted each time. And I'm so weird. I always go one, two, three, 10, 11, oh, what? Wait a minute, I think I said three. Okay, four, five, and I go back. My mind just wants to jump all over, have a good time. It doesn't want to be methodical. But anyway, I managed it. I figured it. I forced myself to, uh, you know, learn to be consistent. So it's all even. And eh, it's just so fun. It's the first one I've ever made. It's so, you know, I have to get the hang of that or else I can't never make a sweater. Because you can't keep changing the stitch count in your, in your material you make. But isn't that pretty? I just love the way it went up. When you crochet, things come out. Very different than when you knit. This yarn looks very different. It's a striped yarn, but not when you crochet it. 
I mean, not in this stitch anyway. This is, you know, um, knit one, chain one, knit one. And then when you come back, you knit in the, in the chain space you made. So I was just very pleased with that. I have a little left over. I was thinking of getting maybe even another ball and make some stuff to go with that scarf. And maybe do different stitches, because each stitch would look different. And crochet, it's just interesting the way that is. I think I will do that. Those are my little uh, acrylic projects. And then my sister requested a hat. And the hat had to be this neon yellow or neon orange. Because she's a, she goes out on the range here in Nevada and, um, and photographs horses. And she's part of this association that names the horses even. You know, the wild, they're wild horses. They don't know their names. <laughs> but they keep a list. These, this group keeps a list. And they just try to take care of and keep track of the wild horses. So Deb said she needed one this color. So I said, how about, you know, to myself. I didn't tell her that I wanted to surprise her. What if I put horses on it? And that was fun. Yeah, until I realized when you put Fair Isle in here, it tightens it up. I can't get this on my head. I made another one before this one, and, I, and it was too small. It was smaller than this one, even. It was smaller than this hat, so I made another one. And, like they say, I went up a size for the the bear out part, you know, this is all sevens, the yellow, and the black horses was on an eight needle. Well, it's still puckered and see, it's still too tight. And maybe you can't, I don't know if you can see it. It's still kind of puckered. It's just too tight. I didn't pull it real far. See, it, it looks normal in there. You know, it doesn't look too tight. It's very loose. Thing, but it is. So I guess I'm going to have to try to give this to a kid. A little kid. It would fit. It would be funny. I guess it would be a slouch hat. It would go over his head and then sort of poop down like in the back like a slouchy. So I'll give that to Charity, I guess. And I'll try to make her one more. I'm not doing more than one more try. Because I only have so much of this yarn. And I thought the horses were cute. And I'll show you. I got the horses by looking on Ravelry under horse motif or horse design or something like that. And I found this sweater. It was free. It's called the Hesta, Paya, Hesta Pesa Iceland sweater with horses. It was free. So I guess I can show you this. And so I just took the pattern of the horses. I, I didn't do any of that. I just did the horses. Um, I took this pattern and put it on the hat, you know, figured it out. And it came out real good. Just only one spot has more than just a little bit more you know, room here, but but it's fine. Besides, she doesn't require all, um, total accuracy. So I guess I'm gonna try it one more time. What should I do? This is a 96 stitch. I think I better go up eight more stitches. It's an eight, you know, stitch. Um, the pattern I'm using. That would help to show you what I do with it. Oh, it's right here. Where's the dang pattern? Here it is. It's called Head Huggers. Just nice, easy, real easy. And uh, I think if I just add eight more stitches, 96 to 104, I think that might do it. This is the second one I've made. The first one I threw out. It, it was just, you know, a little thing. Well, anyway, so that's my work. And um, it's finished, but it's it's not a real hat. It won't go to my sister. It's too small. Darn. But it sure is fun to do the horses. I like it. And this head huggers pattern is real nice. It's real simple. And, and it looks good. So, while my husband was gone, I was so bored and lonesome and 
knocking around this house with nothing to, no one to talk to except the cat and stuff. Um, and I got this magazine in the mail, the knits, interweave knits. And I saw this sweater in here. Oh, I love it. Oh, I love it. I'll show you. This. Aren't those lovely cables? I think I could do that. It would just be hard. I would have to concentrate. So, here's some other poses of it. The back is pretty. Um, so, I copied the pages in the photocopier. So, I'm going to cut these out, you know, the little charts. And lay them out, you know, on a big piece of paper and then tape them together. So I have a nice complete chart. And then just go for it. It has a lot of, look at that. Look at all that stuff. I have to, I have to do all that. Uh, but it certainly will be a challenge. And so I went out. And said, I deserve to buy some. Because I'm, you know, two weeks with no one to talk to. So I bought a whole bag of this nice green. And this will be my my cable sweater. I got ten of them. I don't know how long, many it would take. Maybe eight. I'm not sure. Since it's cable, it might be more. It's pretty. I love this green. The lady in the store... Um, said, uh, what are you making stuff for Christmas now? Like, I thought, just because it's green, green's my favorite color. I, you know, I don't need to be Christmas to wear green. So, <laughs> so that's all the stuff I've got. Kind of a short podcast. Oh, I saw some, um, a pattern on uh, YouTube by Bag O' Day. Crystal at Bag Day for uh, uh, crocheted fingerless mitts, but they do have a tiny bit of finger. It's a real interesting pattern. I think I can do that too. And I went and found it. It only takes 200 yards of DK. I found this good stuff. It's uh, Fiber Spirit. Spirit Trail. Fiber Works, I mean. <laughs> That's some expensive stuff I bought years ago and just stuck in my stash. It's gray, but every once in a while it has some nice um, of this color in it. As it has it like a little surprise color. I don't know if I can find any. Anyway, it'll have a little surprise brown in there, like that nice, pretty adobe brown. I don't think I'll try that. There's so many things I want to try. So many, so many hours in the day. So, uh, I don't know how long that is. I'm sure this is a shorty, but it's... Oh, 13 minutes. That's fine. Yeah, because I'll be back. I'll be back again. Maybe something more interesting for you. Um, I hope you had a good Thanksgiving. I cooked the dinner this year. Usually he does, but he wasn't in the, you know, he just getting over COVID, so I cooked it. And it was tiring. Even though it's just for two people, all that stuff, you know, the stuff, the dressing, the turkey, the all the other things that go with it, and you have to run to the store, and you, I, you know, all that stuff is tiring. I think, um, I think that's my last dinner, and he doesn't want to cook anymore, so we'll just go out from now on. That sounds fine to me. There's always a restaurant wanting to serve you something on holidays. All right. Love you all. Bye.